Although the latest data shows that there are over 217 million international migrants, migration is not for the faint at heart. It is not an easy journey to uproot from a place of comfort and or familiarity to a place where you have never been, never lived, or established close relations. Today's data come from an article written by Salil Shetty, Amnesty International Secretary General, and the title is Most Dangerous Journey, What Central American Migrants Face When They Try to Cross the Border. Did you know that many migrants, men, women, and children suffer assaults, robbery, and abduction by criminal gangs? There are also reports of extortion and ill treatment by police and immigration officials. Tragically, some migrants are killed before they even get this far, as reported by Amnesty International. Did you know that authorities apprehended 85,000 migrants, mostly Central Americans, in 2012? Meanwhile, Mexican government statistics put the total number at 150,000 per year, but civil society organizations suggest that the true number is closer to 400,000 each year. As many as 20,000 migrants are kidnapped every year, Amnesty International reports, the abductions can be lucrative. They earn criminal gangs an estimated 50 million each year, according to the Mexican National Human Rights Commission. Kidnapping for ransom isn't the only risk migrants face. Health professionals report that as many as 6 in 10 migrant women and girls are raped on the journey, and activists repeatedly raise concerns that abducted women and girls are vulnerable to trafficking. If you ask why, there are many positive stories and experiences of migration. The need for asylum refuge or rescue is not what fuels migration. It is the hope, possibilities, success stories, and the pursuit of happiness that drives one's motivation to take such a daunting, potentially dangerous and life-altering challenge. The International Organization for Migration reports that 40% of U.S. Fortune 500 companies were founded by an immigrant or their children. In 2017, migrants sent home approximately 600 billion in remittances, or roughly 15% of their earnings, back to their countries of origin. That's about three times more than all official development assistance. I believe the story of everyone who is or was once a refugee entails resilience and I bring this to every country I go to, including here in Canada. My life inspires so many people that I encounter, more so, I bring different insights and experiences that are invaluable to the community I'm in. That's a quote from James, who originated from South Sudan and now resides in Canada. He is a beneficiary of the refugee program there. To share your story with us, send us an email to umedigitalpress at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching.